Oh hey guys, it's Danny here today bringing you like, a lovely video and today we're going to take a look at how to solve this very interesting limit. The limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side x to the power of x. What's that equal to? So in the thumbnail of this video, I wrote it as a limit as x approaches 0 with no exponent of plus or negative. It's just 0, right? And it's going to be the limit of x to the x. But why did I why did I write it with the plus symbol? So I just want to show you straight away that the limit as x approaches zero of x to the power of x is basically it's undefined because zero to the power of zero is undefined. So when you take it from the positive side, you are going to have an answer, right? And then when you take it from exactly at zero, it's undefined. And when you take it from the negative side of zero, it's also undefined. So therefore, the limit as x approaches zero, x to the power of x, is actually undefined. However, you, you lot can actually find the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side of x to the power of x. It's actually equal to a number, basically. And in this video, we're going to solve it. So, let's get right into it. So, the way I like to do it is I like to say that y is equal to x to the power of x. We are going to write this exponent in terms of logarithmics. We are going to apply logarithmics to, you know, render this more solvable. We're going to take a loan on both sides of this equation, use some logarithmic rules so we can have the x as a multiplication in front of the loan rather than an exponent because exponents are very difficult to work with, very important. And we are then going to proceed by taking our limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side on both sides. So we are then going to proceed and try to solve the right-hand side limit. So let's solve the right-hand side. So this here is the limit. So we are then going to basically apply L'Hospital's rule. But before we could do that, we need to have a fraction to do so. So the way I like to rewrite x to ln of x is have ln of x in the numerator and then have one divided by x in the denominator, which is, these are equivalent, equivalent expressions really, right? The reason I like it like this is because it makes it very lovely to solve. So we are then going to apply Hospital's rule by taking derivative in the numerator and one in the denominator. In the numerator, the derivative of ln of x is just going to be equal to 1 divided by x. And in the denominator, it's just going to be equal to negative 1 divided by x squared. We can basically simplify this and cancel out the, you know, the terms, basically. And we can rewrite the limit as shown on your screen. And from here, we can basically replace and solve this limit. Replace it with 0. So when you do that, you are going to notice it's this limit is just equal to 0. So at this point, what we notice, what we establish is that the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of ln y is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of x ln of x is actually equal to 0. But we're not solving for the limit uh, of ln of y. We're solving the limit of just y, or rather x to the power of x. So therefore, there's a special... You're going to have to apply Euler's number on each side of this equation. So from this side, from that side, and on from the right, the right hand side. Applying Euler's number is going to cancel out the, this e to the power of ln on the left hand side. And then on the middle, you are going to see that e to the power of x, ln of x, this here can be moved as an exponent like we did previously over here, basically. And the e and the ln are going to cancel out. So you can rewrite e to the power of x ln of x as x to the power of x. And e to the power of 0, basically, or not, is equal to 1. So therefore, the answer to this limit, so the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of x to the power of x is actually equal to 1. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.